and Wreck TV. My life was on the line. What Dane Dash told me was this, Murder, when I first got to Rockefeller. He said, look, Cam, look, you got you a second chance at this music shit. You know, we're going to see if this works, and if it don't work, we're going to give you a job. And that was like the scariest shit I ever heard in my life. Peace, worlds, and Wreck for M Wreck TV. We got an interesting clip right here. Mason Cameron defends Dame Dash after Steve Stout criticism on the Club Shay Shay podcast. Hit that like, hit that bell, hit the subscribe, watch this clip, and let's vibe. My life was on the line. What Dame Dash told me was this, Murder, when I first got to Rockefeller, he said, look, Cam, look, you got you a second chance at this music shit. You know, we're going to see if this works, and if it don't work, we're going to give you a job. And that was like the scariest shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> but it was real, though. You yeah. got to respect that. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, yo, damn, I, I don't want no job, but oh, we got to make this work. Because you don't get a lot of chances in hip hop. So yeah. we made it work. And that. Yeah, I mean, so that's great. Because, yeah. I mean, I wasn't there. That's why I'm asking the questions. At this point, I'm in church, so I'm not really yeah. knowing what's going on. Right. So this no, means absolutely. Dane gave no, a lot of people right. jobs, regardless of what people say. And him giving you a platform, he gave a lot of people in Harlem jobs. Oh, absolutely. It's a bunch of people outside of me that are, are still in prominent positions now. Um, Sherry, she's the president of Iraq Nation. Mm. She lived in Dame's building, Dame Bass's building in 1199. And I don't really know exactly how the college thing worked. I think, I don't know if Dame helped her get in college or helped pay for college or whatever it was. I'm not sure about that part. But she came down as an intern. Dame let her be an intern at Rockefeller. And she never looked back. You know, she's an intern, then a secretary, then an assistant, then got uh, one in the corporate. Then she, I think she's the assistant uh, president at Atlantic Records. And she went over to work with Todd Moskowitz. And now she's the president of Rock Nation. And this is like Dave Dash's niece almost. Mm. And that's just one example. It's several people who's still working right now. Emmanuel, who's at Atlantic, uh, got hired at Rockefeller. It's a lot of executives that's still working right now because of that. Yes. That's huge. Boss. Yeah, I wanted to know because, you know, I when I hear stories, I don't really know. So you're, you're my source of information when it comes to this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. At that time, I wasn't absolutely. even listening to music. So there's a lot of stuff right. I missed nah, out absolutely. on. Yeah, we definitely uh, absolutely. Look. I was going to say, we definitely have to what? continue the Ask Cam and Mace because I know there's so <laughs> many more things people want to know. Yeah, I try to, yeah. to start yeah. on, but he was ready. Because <laughs> yeah. um, I ain't going to lie, nigga. You know, like I said, the, the main question you asked me, and before we get ready to move on, is, and and I don't know if it's the main question, but I want to wrap this up in saying this, is that Dame gets perceived the wrong way because of his attitude. He's very arrogant, but he's very smart. But the thing about it is Dame is going to do what works for Dame. And at this point, you got to accept him, either love him or hate him for who he is because he's not changing. And he's been successful at helping build $100 million companies, not just one, but multiple. And some people never going to see $100 million in their life. So I think he's capable of doing anything in the world. But sometimes to me, to Cam, the way he he presents himself to other people is eternal. He's an yeah. acquired taste for us. Yeah. Even the Damon Dash interview, as f***ed up as that was, he's a gigantic, almost, almost not. He blew it. He had Jay-Z, he had the most important artist of his so, generation. So, so what happened with that relationship? How did that relationship that was so good sour so fast? Dame's antics were just, it became like people also over time, you mature. Right. It's like you didn't have friends at 16, but by the time you turned 19, they were still doing the same shit right. that you were 16. Right. And you're right. like, right. I can't. Yeah, we gotta. I gotta I, yeah, we gotta. You know, I, you start spending less and less time with them because right. of it. It's like one of those things where Dame, Dame wouldn't change the way he spoke to people, the way he treated people. His, he was angry. 
About what? Bro, you getting paper. He was angry because he had a strong perspective about his business philosophy. And if any time a partner of theirs tried to like go around him or um, meanwhile, people weren't going around him. The people around him wanted to meet with other people. Right. They, they, people wanted were, were becoming less beholden to him, but he was unaware of it. Then he would like, you know, while he was building businesses, which partly he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit, and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know, they were wrong. Yeah. Or, or like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like. Bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit be the same and all that shit. It wasn't even like that. Jay grew up. You know, Jay wanted more. I think Jay seen Dame's ceiling. I mean, I think that's really what it was. I mean, I, I, Jay seen Dame's ceiling. You can't fault a man for wanting to get better. No, nah, he wanted to. He wanted more. We the Knockout Kings of Comedy. It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Scroncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You no, know, I know me old. He's fucking with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. No! Real. I heard a nigga get f***ed in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my It ain't no point of both us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> No, sir!